Now I'm one of those people who absolutely loves it when you get a scam email, absolutely stupidest thing. I'm very much of the perspective of if you're wasting my time, I'm gonna waste yours. And that's why I was delighted when I got this email from the lovely Maxwell James with the email amandamurphy9 at gmail.com. And this email was sent apparently to the BBC. Oh no, the BCC. I don't know who that is and me. I have not forgotten your efforts and attempts to help me in the past, double space, when we met in transferring this money, even though it failed somehow. I instructed her to send you the sum of 800 US dollars. Oh, so it's her fault, is it? And then he, <laughs> he's put underneath, he's written the words 800,000 out. I'm sending the sum to you for comprehension for all the previous efforts and attempts you've made to assist me in transactions. I want you, a bit demanding isn't it? I want you to contact my secretary, her name is Miss Gabrielle Harper, that's one heck of a name, and her email address is gabrielleharper303 at gmail.com. Does not look suspicious one bit. Please contact Miss Harper and tell her how to send the amount to you. Let me know right away when you receive the money so that after all the suffering that time, we can share the joy. Beautiful. I'm currently busy here due to projects that my new partner and I am working on. Finally, don't hesitate to contact Miss Gabrielle Harper at blah 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 so that she can send the amount to you with no delay. Kind regards, Mr. Maxwell James. I know exactly how to reply. Okay, Miss Gabrielle Harper, that's the email. Subject, big banks. Hello, Miss Gabrielle Harper. I double space. They like that. I've got to speak their language, you know, I've got to put the double triple spaces in. Hope you are well. I've just received the email from Mr. James with the context of the 800 US dollars. Square brackets, 800k or 800,000 or eight big, big banks. He asked me to inform you of how I space, 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 would like to see your payment. After much thought, I've decided I would like to receive the payment via carrier pigeon. I've attached an image of my most trusted bird, Sir Peckalot. Got a picture of him there. It looks evil. I have attached an image of my most trusted bird, Sir Peckalot. I trust him with my life and my wife, if you know what I'm saying. Winky face. Thing is, I don't know what I'm saying, so I hope they know. Please, I had to put a few spelling mistakes in there, you know, keep with the consistency. Please send me the coordinates of your location immediately, and I will send Sir Peckalot to you right away. Many thanks. Her Majesty, the Queen of England, representing Durex. P.S. Whatever you do, do not feed Sir Peckalot pan of chocolates. The world will end. I think that should do. Okay, and send. Let's see if we hear back from them. Probably not, but... Hopefully we do. Okay, so this is James from the future, if you um, couldn't tell. Basically, one of my files has corrupted and I can't seem to fix it, so let's just pretend that I was recording this before. So basically, they haven't responded and I don't think they will. Problem was my email was a little bit too out there, but it's fine because I got another scam email and I actually think it's from the same people. This is from Christine Stone. I don't know how they come up with these names. Have you been a victim of a scam before? Do you know of anyone that has been a victim before? Contact Christine Stone of UNODC Crime Control Department and you will be compensated within 48 hours of verification. Email blah 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 for more information. Okay, now it's back to the recordings I did yesterday. I've got an idea. They're being a bit meta, being a scammer asking me if I've been scammed. So why don't I try that idea, giving them the email or the other scam email they sent me. Okay, I've written the email that follows. Hi, I recently got scammed when I was promised 800,000 US dollars by a gentleman named Maxwell James. I want compensation for this but also justice. Many thanks, Bob. Okay, hopefully they reply. I've had a response. Hello, James. Why did they call me James? I signed it off Bob. Your message has been received and acknowledged. Claim your compensation. Kindly provide us with the following information. How much you were scammed? Which narrative was used by the scam artist to scam you? Name and address used by the scam artist to defraud you. Any phone or email used by the scammer as of the time you were scammed. You're expected to attach valid means of identification. So as to document your experience for further investigation whilst we process your claim. I've got to make some kind of identification and I think I have an idea.
Okay, so here's my reply. Hi, I was scammed 800,000 US dollars. They claim to be an investor. I do not have the address, but the name is Maxwell James. The email is blah, blah, blah. Here is my identification, McLovin. Let's see if they, <laughs> let's see if we get a response. Absolutely nothing has changed about me since the last clip. I just got an email reply from Christine Stone again. Finally complete the outline questions in the last message. Mode of payment used by the scammer. This helps us to fasten the investigation and bring the prep tailor to book. I answered all the questions. The mode of payment used by the scammer. Oh, I don't know what to say to that.